What's up everybody? I want to have a chat to you today about a particularly interesting video that's been doing the rounds on the internet and if you haven't seen it, oh my god are you in for a treat. Let's just cut to the clip real quick and have a look. And yeah, feel free to pick your chin up off the ground because you did actually just see that. This policeman stepped out of his car and sprayed what appeared to be mace or pepper spray into the face of passing motorcyclists. Because genius! Now I'm aware that there's a law in Texas which states something along the lines of should there be uh, an emergency vehicle stopped with its lights on in uh, the emergency lane or the hard shoulder or whatever you want to call it, then by law you're required to move over one lane or if you're not able to do that, at least slow down a little. The bikers in this video are clearly adhering to that law, they're respecting it, they're going slowly, and if you look they're actually to the side of their lane, so they're not near the police whatsoever. Either way, this guy still felt threatened people. What baffles me about this clip is that this policeman appears to be prepared for this. He's clearly been watching them in the rearview mirror, he steps out of the car with mace or pepper spray, whatever it is, in hand, jizz probably, and he sprays it directly into their faces right as they appear next to him. Now I don't know what's going through this police officer's mind right now, but as I'm sure you can imagine this dangerous situation, the only way to make that safer was to add more danger. Correct. Damn, what can I do about these people passing me safely on the freeway? Mm. I think I should blind them all at the same time. That'll do. I think it's pretty safe to say that anyone who's in control of any kind of heavy, powerful machinery that's travelling at speed on a roadway, I think it's quite likely that your chances of having an accident while operating said machinery is significantly increased if you can't fucking see. But hey, what would I know? I'm not a fully trained policeman. Now, Fort Worth Police Department's first line of defense when confronted with this information was to say that they hadn't received an official complaint from anybody, but they had received reports of motorcyclists being dicks the day before. So, why are you giving us shit, guys? So what? Just because some guy cuts in front of you at the line at the Fleshlight store on Tuesday doesn't mean that you can go to the dentist's office on Wednesday and slap the coffee out of the receptionist's hands and call her a bitch. It's not the way that it works. Thankfully though, the police department claims to be taking this seriously, although what that probably means is that he's being given full pay to sit behind a desk somewhere, snapping every pencil in the building because his penis is jealous of their girth. So the Fort Worth Police Department issued this letter in which they state, although we have not received a formal complaint, which basically means, what are you complaining about, guy? No one else gives a shit. We proactively began an investigation. Congratulations, gentlemen. Pat yourselves on the back for doing what you should be fucking doing in the first place into the occurrence immediately upon receipt of the video this morning. As in any investigation, detectives attempt to locate witnesses and identify all persons involved. What that says is somehow, this guy will get let off because of a lack of evidence. The officer documented the entire incident in a report as well as on two cameras, his body camera and the dash cam of the patrol car. Now the dash cam of the patrol car won't show shit except motorcyclists weaving to the left and then back to the right because they've been blinded. However, if this hadn't been caught on uh, a head cam, they would most likely say that the bikers were just being reckless and weaving left and right in traffic. His body camera won't show shit either because he has his left arm across his chest and his right arm in front of himself. So I'd imagine the view of that is just of a, a hairy bicep with a mole on it. This fucking guy is a six year veteran and has been removed from uniform patrol duties. Well firstly, I can't imagine what kind of lives this twat has ruined in six years because if he can't control himself now, he probably couldn't control himself then either. However, I'm glad to hear that he's been removed from duty because this man is quite frankly dangerous. He's been placed in an administrative capacity pending the investigation. The Fort Worth Police Department takes any complaint of officer misconduct very seriously and this incident will be investigated thoroughly. Glad to hear it. Please get this guy off the streets, fire him and prosecute him for endangering the lives of all these people. Let me rewind a second here and just say that I would never condone the actions that the police claim they received reports of. For instance, rolling burnouts and wheelies on the freeway and weaving in between cars and stuff. That is not smart. Things like Rider of the Century don't help us in that regard because the police just point their fingers at him like, Hey, uh, remember the time those motorcyclists were dicks? You remember that? Yeah, that happened. Don't worry about Bill over there kicking the shit out of that black guy because motorcyclists are doing wheelies over there somewhere, probably a couple hundred miles away on a different freeway. Fuck them. So there, I said it. I think Ride of the Century is a shitty idea. It does nothing but harm the public image of motorcyclists worldwide. Oops, the faggy British guy said he doesn't like Ride of the Century. Kill him! Because every time, every twat with a fifth of a personality on his modified 636 comes along to sit on his fuel tank while he rides down the freeway. 
Congratulations, bro. You're a bell end. But we're getting off track here. The bottom line here is that this policeman is clearly incapable of making a rational, reasonable decision. And his answer to not being in danger was to create some danger. Go figure. It's good to see that his several years of police training kicked in. And uh, the, the clear answer was just to blind all the motorists nearby. F well done, mate. Fucking well done. You're a goddamn genius. You'll be superintendent in six months, I bet you. It looks like he's forgotten that it's not actually his job to dispense what he believes to be justice. But hey, to protect and serve, right?